this is part two on how to make this salt shaker and Fusion 360 using forms. Okay, so we have our, our salt shaker box and we need to slice this in half, half and create the top and create the bottom. So how we're gonna do that is by creating a offset plane. And we're gonna choose this bottom plane and we're gonna bring it up we going to turn our body back on and we want it to be right here at this this line so just going to move it up until we get somewhere close and zoom in and i kind of like uh, round numbers <laughs> so i'm going to put 48.75 And so now we want to go to the modify plane or menu and uh, select select uh, split body. This is the body we want to split. And plane that we want to uh, split it is this one. You'll have to turn your body off and on so you can find it. And so that looks good. That's where we want to split it. And go ahead and click OK. And now we have two bodies. We have a top and a bottom. So we want to rename these. So this one is the top. And this one is the bottom. Double click on it to rename them. And now we need to create some components from our body. So go ahead and right click on one of the bodies, create component components from bodies, and then do the same thing for the top. And now we have two components. Turn off our construction plane, we don't need them. So we have these two components that we can start working with. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna work with our top um, piece first. So we're going to go ahead and turn the bottom off and then we need to activate this component. And so we need to um, create a some threads and a, a piece here on the bottom. So click on the bottom piece, right click, create sketch. We need to have a couple of circles and they are going to be 37 millimeters and then we need another one that is 42 millimeters go ahead and click enter okay finish sketch and so now we need to extrude this so the first thing I want to do is I want to extrude or cut this piece away from the body E for extrude I'm going to click the inner circle and I want to go negative uh, 13 millimeters and then we're going to turn it on its side make sure you know we're not cutting through the top and uh, go ahead and click OK. So now we have our hole through the top of the our top piece of our salt shaker. And now we need to extrude it down. So we need to go ahead and turn on our sketch again. And it's E for extrude. Click the outer ring. And we want to extrude that down six millimeters. And we want to join. And I need to make sure it's going in the right direction, and it is. And click OK. And so it should look like this after you're done. And that's looking pretty good. So the next thing that we need to do is create some threads on here. Go to your Create menu. Click on the thread. And then click on the outer ring. And you want to make sure it's Model. So go ahead and click Model. And it's going to be 
42 by by three is what we want it. And you can click remember size, but I think this is the only time. Okay, now that we have our threads on the bottom of our salt shaker lid, uh, we need to add the um, holes in the top of the salt shaker. So we need to create a sketch on the top here, but because it has all these faces, it doesn't allow me to create a sketch. So what I'm going to do is construct an offset plane and I want it to be on this bottom plane. And the distance is going to be the height of our total height of our salt shaker, which is 65 millimeters. And click OK. So now I can create a sketch on that plane. And then I can start putting in uh, my holes for my salt shaker. I'm just going to do it with a circle and I need a three millimeter circle. And I'm going to put one right in the middle. And then I need another three millimeter circle. I'm just going to place it I actually want it to be kind of in line here, so put it right here. And then we'll go ahead and use our dimension, and we'll dimension this 12 millimeters. And we want those to be well, if I can. Oh, I guess I can make them both horizontal. Okay. So now that we have these two guys, we'll go ahead and create a pattern. Create circle, circular pattern. And then we just want to select the top circle. Point. The center point is going to be the center. We want five patterns. All finished. Go ahead and finish the sketch. Before extrude and select all of your circles. So it's going to be a cut. And the distance is going to be to the bottom. So I'm just going to select the bottom. And then click OK. We have holes in the top of our, our uh, salt shaker top. And we are completely finished with the top at this point. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our top. So the next video will be adding the threads to the bottom of the salt shaker and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.